during this pandemic might be long and rugged, but it challenges me. Though it's not the safest, but we are not afraid. The voice of fear cannot be trusted. Work it with courage, follows the safety precautions, and please stay safe. A very big welcome to Clicklight, your one-stop shop on everything creative. I am Ekemini Williams. I'm Butu Miller. The Entertainment News is next. I don't preach or anything like that, but I just want to be here to let you know that you got somebody that you can call anytime. Entertainers across board observed a blackout Tuesday in protest against the death of a black American, George Floyd, in police custody. Blackout Tuesday was a music industry protest against racial injustice while promoting the hashtag Black Lives Matter movement, which has been one of the battles championed by renowned black music maestros of the industry since the 40s. The movement took social media by storm on Tuesday as not just musicians but actors, comedians, sports stars and enthusiasts all over the world joined in via their social media pages posting black boxes captioned with messages preaching against racism. Enthusiasts have described the protest as symbolic and impressive, adding that it will bring the music industry worldwide together as a united front against the menace of racism. We need justice for George Floyd. We all witnessed his murder in broad daylight. We're broken and we're disgusted. It is born. It is born out of pain. It's like I, know. I know. Yeah. Wait, My father's got to not go in there, Mama. No. Did you come? Come, come, okay. It's good news for Nollywood and the Theatre Arts and Motion Pictures Producers Association of Nigeria, Tampan, as the ban on shooting movies and related production has been relaxed in Lagos State. The relaxed lockdown came with a standard precautionary rules and regulations which include spaced sitting arrangement, use of face mask and location, regular hand washing and sanitizing practice. While it may be exciting for producers and actors to jump back on location and get working, especially after months of redundancy, one question comes to mind. Will it be a quick dash to recoup lost revenue or should viewers anticipate a well-researched content creatively produced to trend with the new normal? Yeah, you got that yummy, 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 yummy. And that's it on Entertainment News. You could follow us on Twitter at ClickLight on NTA. Fast rising artist LB is urging music enthusiasts in Nigeria and beyond to keep hope alive amid the coronavirus pandemic with the new tune titled Yellow Light. ClickLight had an exclusive interview with him via WhatsApp. And this is what played out. It's a vibe. Yeah, no light, then I'm still waiting. Perfect picture, I'm still painting. Going strong, but I'm still faint. My name is Ojala Diolara Waju, my stage name is LB, and I'm signed to YOS Records. They use me play, but I'm not joking. Beneath my mask, my soul is wasting. Far for you, Joe, I Coronavirus has affected every, um, a lot of aspects of the society, um, and the, the entertainment industry is not left out. Um, it's actually in that going out for shows, um, it's in that promotion of a lot of uh, music, so you can go out um, for um, club tours and also it's really really affected the entertainment industry and it's slowed down a lot of things so yeah the, the entertainment industry is not left out in this um, mishap that coronavirus has caused for the whole world but if you give me your love you'll let your fire photographer will lay your work but I'll let you go stay far away from us yeah, so I dropped this song because there's a whole lot going on in the country. There's, this, this, this song is supposed to be a perfect getaway for people because there's so much going on, like I said. 
there's the, the, the coronavirus, there's the incessant killings, there's the police brutality and also the rape incidents and it's really really sad that in the year 2020 we still have to discuss about, we still have to to, 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 to talk about this kind of incident so this, this me dropping this song at this moment is just trying to give my fans a perfect getaway when they want to get away from this incident so my, my music is like the sweet escape for them and if you give me your heart to the Japan Tony, January to December And on those days you're feeling very down I go stand by you So I want to take this moment to tell all my fans and general public that coronavirus is real and it's very very deadly And I want to implore you guys to take every measure that has been applied by the government officials which is washing your hands, wearing a face mask and most importantly social distancing the protracted closure of the entertainment industry and by extension the nightlife business due to the coronavirus pandemic means that business owners are on a long losing run. Akemni Williams in this report takes a look at the nightlife and consequences of COVID-19. Cast your mind back to nightlife in Abuja just two months ago. It used to bubble, throb and pulsate. Various bits blurred from bars, barbecues steamed and drinks flowed endlessly. From Meitama to Wuse Zone 4, Kubwa to Garki, that was the scene. Once the rays of the sun come down, the bright lights of the night took over. Fun lovers made a beeline to their favorite hot spots to revel in their nighttime indulgences. With the amount of money believed to circulate in the capital city, which has a generous share of the rich and the powerful, the sector thrived. Then, COVID-19 came in and spoiled the party. The entertainment industry was one of the first casualties. The pandemic brought it to a halt. I must say, isolation and quarantine currently like this, don't find me up out. Anything you need to touch me, contact me via video chatting, maybe FaceTime or, or WhatsApp video call, something like this. The government locked down the society with the popular catchphrase, stay alive, stay at home. Our cultural and social life is at a standstill. How can you imagine Nigeria is not having a party on the weekend? For investors in this sector and other stakeholders, as well as those employed in the entertainment industry, staying at home is obviously bad for their business. So the consequences has been huge. All my plans that have been planned, everything has shut down. The only thing that I saved now, I used to buy food, food stuffs that I've been managing to now. Investors poured billions of naira into nightclubs, bars, lounges, restaurants, gaming centers to make the capital city an attractive destination for business and recreation and also create a healthy work-life balance. As of then, when people normally do come to club to park their cars like that, at least we do help them being as the security in here to like help them park their cars. As I that they will come out, find a small, small change like that, that will do it. As I that we don't have, as in, our salaries don't normally come on time like that. So due to this, we do have what to like maybe manage ourselves for at least a particular time. The hospitality sector employs thousands of people in various roles, from the performers to bartenders. All of them have been left out in the cold. Femi Ikbaye, popularly called Baba 2010, an Abuja-based entertainer, owns a club in Utaku where he used to earn an estimated monthly turnover of about 4 million naira. But this was before the coronavirus outbreak. We know there are some major support in play to boost business. But to assess this loan is a big problem. The government can actually do something make it accessible for some of us. Ansele Motoru, aka Wafi, a popular stand-up comedian and MC in Abuja, used to anchor a show at a garden in Utaku every night. He says most weekends he made not less than 
300,000 Naira, but with the lockdown, he is now looking for more creative ways to stay relevant and fill in the financial gap. Nobody go football will go pick your call. Before I go to my chairman, they say I know where you go call them, they will pick your call. Now even when you go call them to the group, they say if maybe you won't beg their money. I have to involve myself in comedy script and then sometimes my friends connect me to what's it called uh, Instagram shows where we perform, try to drop my two jewels. Those. This is Gimbia Streets, Gariki here in Abuja. Almost every building on this street is either a hotel, a restaurant, a bar or a pub. Now let me give you a quick picture of what some of the spots looked like before the lockdown. No, no, no. Yeah. Well today, this is the reality. No one knows what lies ahead in the next few months. This is the dilemma faced in the entertainment industry. And so, they are also looking out for government palliatives, at least until the nightlife in Abuja finds its rhythm again. This is unfortunate that Abuja nightlife has become so quiet because of this COVID-19. Yeah, true that. And I tell you, Mila, that the Click Light crew in one of its very, you know, those nights when we had to sit down and plan a part of the click like I must tell you, not everyone, you know, I had a taste of the nightlife. We, we hung out. I, I can actually show you what it was. Are you serious? Wow. <laughs> I wish I was there. <laughs> Ever since the Mohamed Ubuari led administration came into power, in 2015, it has engaged the creative industry stakeholders in a bid to create an enduring structure, which will in turn make regulations seamless. Five years after the dividends are gradually paying off in the special report, Ololade Alayaki examines the development strides of the Buhari administration in the entertainment sector. <laughs> Your 50 cost one million dollars. Mm -hmm. That means your 51st will be higher. Well, naturally. You're welcome to Dan Police Station. All our officers are very busy, including the one talking to you now, to check our self service options. Press one. The Nigerian entertainment industry is globally recognized as the second largest film production in the world. A title it wears proudly and significantly in the past few years. As many sometimes describe it, the creative industry is a towering mind of rare sorts from all that makes it thick. Music, movies, dance, fashion and the whole scenario. The sector's contributions have reached far and wide with recognitions from the global scene. One attestation that confirms its increasing glory. From a place of obscurity, it slowly thrills with eagerness, a desire for change and ultimate development. Do you want this life? And I can give it to you. Everything. This further echoes with the sectors contributing largely to the growth of the Nigerian economy. It becomes even juicier since the President Buhari-led administration came into power. The hallmark of change was evident with the engagement of stakeholders all in a bid to create an enduring structure which will in turn make regulation seamless and also provide jobs for young individuals. Funding, which used to be the missing piece, became history in 2018 when President Buhari directed the immediate provision of working capital to members of the nation's entertainment industry by the Bank of Industry and the Nigerian Export Import Bank to help improve the sector. This was further consolidated last year by the CBN with financial support to the sector when the need to milk the cash cow with all its potentials became necessary. The project aimed at the implementation of a 22 billion Naira creative industrial development scheme 
is designed to generate about 800,000 jobs in movie, music and fashion subsector. And that is not all. The reconstruction of the National Theatre in Lagos to world-class convention centre is also in the works. With the coronavirus plaguing nations across the globe, the decision to give a tax break for the Nigerian entertainment industry due to the COVID-19 became one of the highlights. The commitment to effect that desired change According to the Information and Culture Minister Lai Mohammed, who inaugurated a 17-man committee headed by comedian Ali Baba, was to prepare the process of the post-COVID-19. It's been five years gone and some young people have words of commendation. I think it's better. I think it's improving. I think um, uh, there is, of course, room for improvement, but there has been a, a tremendous growth in the last uh, few years. So, um, yeah, I think the practitioners are becoming conscious of the fact that production value is key. I, I must say, we have, we have uh, forced ourselves to, to try to push the envelope in filmmaking. And um, I think we are making products these days that could compete internationally. And they are already competing internationally, both in the box office and even in art. But most importantly, they appeal for more concerted efforts in driving the sector to enviable heights. And so, as another three years beckon, many express hope for the implementation of policies and recommendation, especially on the proposed bill for the establishment of the Moribon Motion Picture Practitioner Council, MORFICON. With over four decades of astonishing accomplishments in the music industry, Majek Odumi Fashik, popularly called Majek Fashik, a reggae sensation best described for his energetic performances, usually spiced with vigor, poise and passion, is dead. Abdul Malik Adio, in a special report, eulogizes this reggae legend. Conscious people is what matters to me. It's not the people because if you remove the conscious people or the people from the streets and you just leave America like that, America is nothing, man. Some call him a prophet, but many refer to him as a preacher. Majek Odumi Fasheke, popularly called Majek Fashek, is a reggae maestro whose name resonates with music enthusiasts. Trust me, you know, Majek Fashek, you know, his music is, uh, is imbibed, you know, with the, with the message of Ja, because, you know, Rasta, we always say, what is reggae music without the message? So the message, you know, is the music, and the music is the message. Rastafari, sorry to said Rasta. Majek Fashek from the first note strikes a chord that leaves listeners and music purists mesmerized and yearning for more. If you are fast, you can move my tail. If you are fast, when you are fast, you can move my tail. Just a little look of patience. A little look of patience. A little look of patience. His ability to captivate his audience in the most energetic way comes effortlessly to him, earning him stripes most musicians can only dream of. Truly magic, I keep saying, is my momentum, is my motivator. Because people like magic make Aina to play reggae music today. To many, is amiable persona and originality in delivery as a magnetic pool that makes his music linger long after it has ended. The revolution is to see we change a whole lot of things, the wrong things that Babylon features go up on doing on Mother Earth. You see, reggae is to, to change the spirit and the way people will start living. 
consciousness living. You know, we have to live by the spirit of Jah Almighty. And I believe there's a lot of people out there that would like to be like magic in future to come. Little wonder he made it straight to the top, attaining international acclaim in 1987 with his self penned tune, Send Down the Rain. The song was not only a knockout, but it defined trend and would even make a startled move to its rhythm. Send down the rain, rule the airwaves for a remarkable period, and from all indications, will remain a hit for a long time to come. Straight down from 1988, trust me, the one my Jack Fashek has been holding a lockdown. Straight up, you know, to him gone Zion. Even when my Jack Fashek was not recording, you know, the ones that he has already recorded, you know, was still making waves. The man is always trending because, you know, them say, the truth will always set you free, you know. It's like light and darkness, you know. And of course, you know, Rasta will always say, you know, life over death, light over darkness, you know, good over evil. I saw the thing set, you know. His solo debut album, Prison of Conscience, released in 1988, sold more than 200,000 copies, reiterating Majek's versatility as one of Africans' greatest reggae influence, carving his name in gold in the annals of the Nigerian entertainment industry. Rise from the sea of America Let's walk to the dawn Africa Majek Udumi Ifa Sheke a.k.a. Majel Fashek was a music revelation. God's gift to humankind, specifically Nigeria, Africa. Artist manager Sumanu Belo Osage and a cousin to the late reggae icon believes Majek's foray and crossover appeal in the music mainstream. Very spiritual. There's something people don't know about Majek. Majek was very, very spiritual. At the age of 27, Majek, Signed a record deal with Interscope Record, a major, a major, a major. I emphasize that and I amplify it. Interscope Records, with the likes of Smooth Double Dog, the 50 cents of this world, they signed my deal for $250,000 that year. The 12 years profound professional relationship with Majek Fashek, he says, is one he holds dear to his heart. Well, were they African people unite? Well, were they African people come together? Sadly, at a point, the media was awash with deteriorating health conditions of the reggae maestro. And so, for the love of the legend, music enthusiasts rose up to the occasion, rehabilitating the rainmaker on his feet. The intervention paid off years after as Raymaker regained his proverbial mojo, releasing songs like Akube and No More Sorrow featuring pop icon Two Baba. They will really be missed. I know, I know. Project was a great it was a gift to our country. I think it's important for us to zero in on the good things, the public relation I gave to Nigeria, not the later part of Majek years. Let us think about the gift that he gave to us. I know. How he put us in the map. I know. That's what I want to remember him for. I know. Not the magic that some of you knew through the later part of his life. Although it's light out for the rainmaker, his fans and music enthusiasts will always remember Majek Fashek as a prophet who preached the gospel of change for the common good through music for prosperity and for legacy, so that his work will be indelible to the minds of millions of Nigerians that will come out of the house. That is my take on this matter, and I pray that millions as they are listening to me, let us give honor to whom honor is due. His legacies will no doubt stand out, as his messages will continually be echoed in the sounds of his music, even in death. I can see humanity and 
sisters sharing love together now. Soul, rest in peace, Mila. Amen. Yeah, Magic Fashek was one fine reggae star that Nigeria True. would always boast of, you yeah. know, in so many years to come. And I think there are a million and one lessons, you know, from his life and times that True. one can learn from. So I wouldn't want to learn, um, earn on uh, sad notes because I, I read an article that said we should not mourn Magic yeah. Fashek. Rather, we should celebrate so him as because, a yes, of yeah. course. So on that note, that's been that on this week's episode of the program. We hope we entertained you, informed you, and kept you up to speed with what's trending around the world. Until we come your way next week, follow us on our Twitter handle at ClickLight on NTA. Thank you for watching DSTV 419. I'm Miller. I am a Kemenu Williams. Salute. I know you got me now. I know you got me now. I know you got me now. Followed you up and down. Followed you up and down. Followed you up and now I don't lost my mind. Now I don't lost my mind. Now I don't lost my. Now I know you lied. Now I know you lied. Now I know because the doctor said I burnt my liver. I've been drinking, smoking cigars. Used to sing and play my guitar. Now I'm lost in this and Save me.